every summer as thousands flock to the beach. Murawat can get very dangerous very quickly. A group of volunteers risk it all. He was floating face down out there somewhere. It's bloody unpleasant, but you have a sense of duty. To save lives. The first worst drive was an unsuccessful rescue. And keep you safe. Okay. Around the treacherous waters of Danger Beach. Coming up, a predominantly female patrol contends with dangerous rips and missing children. There were four swimmers and only three came in. The auditors are back at the beach. and training gets the adrenaline pumping. Summertime is in full swing on the black sands of Muriwai Beach. Today there's a nice swell coming through, a lot of surfers out there and a lot of people on the beach. So We're going to see our biggest problem coming from the number of people rather than the conditions. Today patrol captain Andrew Lancaster and club captain Dave Butt have the envious task of leading a team made up of mainly women. We've usually got quite a few girls on the Muriwai are lucky to have a very strong team of female lifeguards, which includes South Island's Julia Toomey. On loan from Sumner while she attends university in Auckland. I actually come from a competitive swimming background, so my father was a competitive swimmer and he was from Dunedin and tried surf life swimming, but in Dunedin it was just too cold for him. Julia has represented New Zealand at the World Champs and is the face of New Zealand surf life saving. Tower, the rip's picking up. And then there's up and coming Ali David, a member of the Northern Regional Junior Team. Do you think we can get a few rookies down here to do a few PAs for us? Over. Cheers, out. Every season, Muriwai lifeguards make over 50 rescues, but more importantly, over 3,000 preventative actions. Identifying possible dangers and minimising them. We've just got a few surfers just drifted into the flags and we're just going to get them out of there before they knock into people or anything like that. To the north of the flags there are quite a few surfers and surfers and swimmers coming together there are a few clashes. Do we want to prevent that? Move them in between the flags. With that in mind, Julia makes her way to the southern end of the beach, where a girl is swimming way outside the flags, next to deadly flat rock. That area there is so dangerous. There's a girl out here on a boogie board. She's out there by herself with no fins on, um, and she doesn't look like a particularly capable swimmer. And particularly with her by herself, if she does get into trouble, there's nobody else to inform us or to look after her, or even just to help her out. So um, I'm just going to talk to her and see if I can get her to come and swim between the flags. That's going to be the safest area for the rest of the afternoon, so it's going to get really bad here in about 10, 15 minutes' time. In 10 minutes' time, she could have really been in trouble. She wasn't wearing any fins. Um, she had clothes on that were weighing her down. Her boogie board was old, and it had no safety strap connecting her to it. That's sweet. Cheers, guys. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. And it's situations like that where they really should be swimming between the flags. Just a little bit of education about what's going on and where is the safest place to be makes a big difference. Back up at the flags, it's time to rotate. Well, we're just switching over our flag duty. Every 45 minutes, lifeguards change duties. It helps keep the clubbies fresh and alert for just about anything, including teenage boys. I actually thought it was quite... I think it's pretty 
no idea. It was funny. They sat right in front of Nirvana. And I was just like... They must be quite desperate, I think. Yeah. <laughs> You're not that nice looking. Sorry. But that's quite a desperate move, actually. <laughs> There's just heaps of little kids in the shallows. And since it's the low tide, it's dumping on the bar out there. Which so, is right where everyone's swimming. Yeah. Just gotta keep watching the water. <laughs>